Thank you so much, Trent. Tennessee carrying out the first execution by electric chair in more than a decade. Edmund Zagorski dying by electrocution after 34 years on death row. Zagorski was pronounced dead last night at 826 Eastern Standard Time. His execution carried out shortly after the Supreme Court's decision to deny his request for a stay. Witnesses sat in the dark while Zagorski was strapped to the electric chair. When the blinds were raised, witnesses could see Zagorski strapped to that chair and sponges strapped to his ankles. It, if was, uh, it was asked if he had any final words, to which he said, quote, let's rock. Soon after, the sponge and headpiece was placed on his head, as was a shroud covering his face, and the execution began. All of a sudden, his hands flexed into fists. Um, he stiffened, raised up a little bit during the first jolt, and then relaxed some, but his hands stayed clenched um, with the pinky, the right pinky over the chair rest. He's perfectly still, and then uh, several seconds later, another jolt comes on, he goes even higher, and then um, the energy cuts off, and we sit there and uh, in stillness and, and watch his fists still clenched with that one pinky uh, off the edge of the chair and uh, sit there for a good long while looking for any signs of life. Witnesses also saying they saw communication between Zagorski and his attorney, Kelly Henry. Some of that included Zagorski raising his eyebrows and even smiling, Henry putting her hand over her heart. And he said the last thing he wanted to see was me smiling, and so I tried very hard to do that. And we did have um, the understanding that if I was placing my hand over my heart, that meant I was holding him in my heart. And I asked him to just make sure and look at me. If you remember, Zagorski was sentenced to death row for the 1984 murders of John Dotson and Jimmy Porter. Both of the victims' families declined to speak to the media last night, but we were told Zagorski did receive several messages from his own family.